What is up you guys? My name is Aubrey and this is my channel and today I want to talk about making money. You see we are right around the corner from the holidays and the holiday season is an excellent time to make money. One, because there are so many opportunities to make extra money during the holiday season and number two is that it is always a good idea to make some extra cash during the holiday season so that you can buy gifts for your friends, family, and loved ones. And so today I'm going to go through some of the side gigs that you can take advantage of during this holiday season to make some extra cash in your free time. Let's get started. So let's just jump right into it and go into the very first side hustle. Now this is one I'm just gonna touch on because I did a video on this side hustle just a few days ago and that is Amazon Flex. Now in the last few weeks, my eyes have been open up to the world of Amazon Flex and the potential of making some side money with the service. Now what Amazon Flex is, is it's basically Amazon's own side gig infrastructure to allow for people to deliver packages from Amazon to the recipient of that package. Now there are a number of different qualifications that you have to have in order to qualify for Amazon Flex. I will link the video in the description below that I just did on this subject. But with Amazon Flex, you have the potential to make anywhere from $18 to $25 per hour. There are a slew of benefits with this type of side gig, including the fact that you can sign up for shifts, which means that if you get a shift with Amazon Flex, you could potentially work from three to six hours and make $18 to $25 per hour for that shift. The one big downside of Amazon Flex that actually a few commenters had mentioned in the previous video I made on the subject is that if you do not live near an Amazon fulfillment center, then this probably isn't going to be a super lucrative side hustle for you because there just isn't a whole lot of opportunity to deliver for Amazon if there isn't an Amazon fulfillment center in your area. But there are a number of Amazon fulfillment centers around the country. I know that we have one in Dallas, Texas. So I would definitely check out, see if you have one near you. And if you do, it could absolutely be a great side hustle for you to partake in. The second side gig that I think could be an excellent one to partake in is one that will be particularly useful around Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner, and that is Instacart. Now, I understand that we are in the middle of a pandemic, and there are a lot of people that are discouraged from going out and going to large Thanksgiving or Christmas gatherings with their family. With that being said, I really do believe that there still will be a lot of people that are having Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner. And with that, there will inevitably be people that want to have their same traditional meals, but may not want to go to the grocery store. One, because there is nothing more miserable than shopping for Thanksgiving or Christmas dinners a couple of days before the holidays and two is that there will inevitably be crowds and people that may have already been a little bit nervous about COVID-19 will be even more nervous knowing that they'll have to go into a crowded grocery store to shop for their Thanksgiving or Christmas Eve or Christmas Day dinners. And because of that, I think that there's a lot of people who will be taking advantage of services like Instacart to get their groceries and their holiday prep list delivered to them. In fact, every year I'm the person that goes out and buys groceries for my Thanksgiving day dishes that me and my sisters make. And this year was the only year that I really did think to myself that I may want to use Instacart instead. Now, my frugal self, I'm a bit too cheap to use Instacart and I'm picky about the groceries that I choose. So I probably will not be using Instacart for me personally, but I can definitely see why people will do it, especially people who are eligible Elderly or people that have kids or people that are just a bit nervous about going out with COVID-19. And because of that, I think that Instacart is an excellent side hustle to explore during this holiday season. The next side hustle is one I will continue to preach until the day that I die, and that is freelancing. Freelancing is such a good side hustle. If there is one thing and one thing only that you take away from this YouTube channel, it is that freelancing and the opportunities that freelancing presents are just so incredibly good. And that if you're looking for a way to make money on the side and potentially turn that side gig into a full-time career, then freelancing is an excellent route for you. Now, I haven't talked about freelancing in a while on this channel, but what freelancing is, is it's basically a way for you to get 1099 or contract work with companies that need people to complete certain tasks for them. With freelancing, you often Sometimes hear it discussed in the context of more like artistic fields like photography or film or editing, things like that. But the fact is, is that freelancing exists all across the board. There is freelancing for marketing, for clerical work, for assistance, for data entry, and for things like film photography, editing, things like that. There is no doubt something that you are good at or something that you can do that can be used in the world of freelancing to make you extra money. For me, I got my start in freelancing doing just simple data entry tasks, which means I was doing the most boring of the boring work that you could find, literally typing in numbers from a website into a spreadsheet. But then over time, I spread into different forms of freelancing. And by the time I ended my freelancing career, I was making anywhere from 20 to $40 per hour for freelance digital marketing. So there is a 
huge opportunity for freelancing, not just on a part-time schedule, but also on a full-time one as well. And the good thing about the holidays is the fact that companies need freelancers and need people to take on work during the holiday season because for a lot of retailers, especially both brick and mortar and online, this is their busy season and they need more hands and they need more workers. And this is a great time to get involved with these companies during the holidays, try to do your job really well and potentially gain an ongoing contract with them going forward. But regardless, I think that freelancing is an excellent way to make extra money during the holiday season. The next one that I wanna talk about isn't like an official side gig. It doesn't have like official app or official website you can sign up to do this, but the idea of being some sort of handyman during the holiday season, and this can be all encompassing to any physically labor intensive job that needs to be done during the holiday season. The fact is, is that there's a lot that needs to be done during the holidays. And there's a lot of times where people can't do this stuff on their own, whether it be putting up a Christmas tree, putting up Christmas lights, even putting together gifts like furniture or play sets for kids. All of these things take a certain level of skill and a certain level of physical ability. And older people specifically may have trouble doing this by themselves. Because of that, I think that marketing that type of side gig service could be an excellent way to make some money during the holidays. Now, because of the fact that there is no official app or service that you can sign up for this type of side gig, you kind of have to get creative about marketing yourself for this type of gig. But there are a slew of different ways that you can go about doing it. Number one, you could place an ad on Craigslist. This probably isn't the most preferred way because there are sketchy people on Craigslist. But number two could be Facebook Marketplace or even just spreading the word on Facebook by setting a Facebook status and asking your friends to share it. Additionally, you could just use social media in general like Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And lastly, you could just do the old fashioned way and pass out flyers. You could include a flyer with your photo, make sure to include your photo so that people know that you're a real person and include a slew of different services that you offer from putting together furniture, putting together Christmas lights, taking down Christmas lights, putting up a tree. You could charge $25 to put up the tree. You could charge $10 per piece of furniture you put together. I'm not exactly sure how the pricing would work and it would really depend on the competitive rates in your area. But this is a real viable way to make money, especially if you're somebody that's good with your hands and is a physically able person who can actually do this type of work. And because of that, I think that this is an excellent side hustle to explore this holiday season. And my last side gig is a pet sitter. Now this is one that I think is kind of up in the air because I'm not really sure what the overall climate's going to look like come the holidays and whether or not people are actually going to travel. I think that we will no doubt see people travel because that's just the way people are, but I think we will see a decrease in the amount of people that are going out of town for the holiday season. With that being said, I do think that there still will be the need for a pet sitter. There are a number of different apps that you can look at to explore pet sitting. From Rover to Paw Shake to Wag, all of these are apps that you can can explore to get into the pet sitting game. Now the reason why I love this side gig is because people love their pets. I mean for me I consider myself to be a fairly frugal person and I will not hesitate to spend four to five hundred dollars to have somebody stay in my house and watch my dogs rather than have to take them to a kennel or a boarding facility. People don't like taking their dogs to boarding facilities because dogs get stressed out, they get worried, the parents are worried, it's just a bad situation altogether. Because of that there are a lot of people out there that would rather spend the extra money to have a trusted person come and stay with their dogs and actually walk them and take care of them and feed them. Because of that, I think that the pet sitting game is an excellent side gig to take part of, not only during the holiday season, but all year round. But I think it's particularly good in the holiday season because people are busy, they're traveling, and they're not able to stay home with their pets all the time. The fact is, is that there are so many different side hustles that you can take part in, not only during the holiday season, but just all year round in general. And I think that these particular ones that I've mentioned today are ones that will do especially well during the holidays. But over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to make a series of these videos more frequently than usual where I'll talk about some of the best holiday side hustles if you want to stay home, if you want to drive around, if you want to deliver something, and I'll give you guys a variety of choices to choose from. With that being said, if you guys have any feedback, if you have any side gigs that I didn't mention, I would love to hear it, so make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video.